Okay, the work continues on this city flood tidal wave scene that I've been working on. So this is a render from one of the more recent models that I've put together. And uh, you can see the one thing that's really important about doing these kind of buildings here is you notice way back in here there's this really sharp edge on that building and a sharp edge on that building. That's because there's no beveled edge on those two buildings. So you want to make sure you have beveled edges. These all have beveled edges, the ones on the front. And I'm also starting to light the scene and add other objects to the scene and little details to all the buildings. You know, you can see enclosures, frames around windows and things. But at this level, using the cycles, it took about a thousand passes to, in order to render it because I have so much glass and so many different lights now illuminating things. Uh, when you have maybe a one light, if I had one main light in the scene, then I could get away with about a hundred passes. But the more lights you add and the more glass you add, the more you have to crank up the samples and then it really takes a long, long time. But I'll show you the animation so far up to this state. I think the last one, let me see where we were, that may have been the last one that I had posted in here where the only, I didn't have any beveled edges on the buildings. You can see how hard they are. In part I like that because I like the hard edge against the soft water. But now there's a lot more detail in all these other buildings. So let's see what the other ones are. Then this one here, maybe that's the same one. Uh, maybe, yeah, it's, uh, that may have been the last one that had been posted from this perspective. Okay. And then what's this? Oh, this is from a different view where I've started to change the buildings up in here. And there, there's a detail, more detail on a lot of the buildings, but this is prior to having the beveled edges along the corners, I think. No, maybe that has some beveled edges on that one there. So I was just looking at it from a different view. Okay, then what is this? Oh yeah, here's beveled. It says in here, oh, I guess that one's not going to work. That's too bad. I wonder why. Let's try it again. No. Huh. That's very strange. All right, let's see what this is. Okay, so now here it is. I was doing a light test, starting with just only a couple of these buildings illuminated, and I was looking at the light in, from the inside. And this was maybe only uh, 150 samples on the on the rendering, but there's not near as many lights in this scene. Okay, let's see what the next one is. And then, oh yeah, now I have a tent in the scene in this particular building. More lights as well. But now it turns out that, you know, each one of these really adds. By the time you're doing fluid simulations and smoke simulations, each one of those takes, you know, all their own bake time and particles and everything take their own bake time and then the rendering. So by the time you start putting it all together, it can take hours and hours just to generate a single frame, let alone the animation. Okay, now, and then, what was this? Oh, and this must be some other fluid. Yeah, this is other fluid effects that I'll be using as well. In the scene, you can see how it flows around pretty nicely like this. Have it elevated for the moment, of course, and that's just a light because that's about that's the next building I'll illuminate as well. Now this is still this is well in order to do this because it had so many things going on with all the lights and everything. I cut down the number of passes and the ref, and the transparent passes and everything way way low. Of course I can clean that a lot. All right, well that's the current state and I'll keep working at it. At, it took me maybe seven, eight days, maybe maybe 10 days to finally get to the point where I know all the tools that I want to be able to use in order to f complete this simulation. I mean, it, that's really how long it took to do the basic design. So I consider the fundamental design complete as far as how I'm going to go about doing it. It's still going to be now weeks more of work before I can actually complete it. And then who knows how long it would take to do a final rendering. And uh, the other thing is, that at the same time, I also design these scenes so I can put them into the game engine. Then you have to kind of jump back and forth between your rendering within here and your rendering within the GLSL shaders to make both look good at the same time. Okay, well, that's for now. I'm still working on it, and I'll have a update again in a couple of days. See you then.